na barabara kabisa mtazamaji jioni njema karibu kwenye taarifa za KTN leo kwa taarifa kamili ambazo tumekuandalia hii leo na kumbuka katika safu yetu ya mahojiano leo ikiwa ni siku ya alhamisi tunaangazia swala la migomo je taifa la Kenya linageukia kuwa taifa la migomo tuna mgeni wetu hapa studio ambaye atatupa mawili matatu kuhusiana na swala hilo vile vile ushauri kwa wewe mfanyikazi na mwajiri kukwepa swala hili la migomo mimi naitwa Alimanzu basi tuanze taarifa kamili Viongozi wa chama cha kutetea maslahi ya madaktari ambao wanaongoza mgomo unaoendelea kwa sasa wamehukumiwa kifungo cha mwezi mmoja kwa kukaidi agizo la mahakama. Jaji Helen Wasilwa wa mahakama ya kutatua mizozo baina ya wafanyikazi na waajiri amewaambia viongozi hao mapema hii leo kwamba wamepewa wiki mbili pekee kusitisha mgomo huo la sivyo warushwe gerezani kwa kukaidi agizo la mahakama. Ndani ya mahakama ya kusuluhisha mizozo baina ya wafanyakazi na waajiri, Jaji Helen Wasilwa alikuwa na ujumbe mmoja kwa viongozi wa chama cha madaktari ambao walikaidi agizo la mahakama hiyo kwa kuendelea na mgomo licha ya mgomo kuharamishwa na mahakama. Sentence you for one month in jail, suspended sentence which will fall down. The sentence is hanging on your head. It will fall down on your head within two weeks if the strike is still on. Left. Awali ya hukumu hiyo walijaribu kujitetea bila mafanikio. I can plead with that to give me a lighter sentence. I even broke my glasses in part of this movement trying to assemble and come to the court and right now I can't even see what kuma matters. Lakini punde tu baada ya kutoka kizimbani wimbo ukawa ni ule ule. Atuendi jela. Unaguri. Atuendi jela. Madaktari hao waliofululiza hadi Railways Club wakasisitiza kwamba uamuzi wa mahakama ulikuwa kama kutia msumari moto kwenye kidonda kwani wako radhi kufungwa ikiwa ndio msingi wa maslahi bora ya madaktari elfu tano kote nchini we can't negotiate with the news around our necks we will not on the 26 we will report there and let me tell you guys what will happen the whole of the month of march okay we are taking health reform forms to the prisons so doctors will provide free medical services Never pick any letter from anyone. The only voice you listen to is the voice of the union. Mkataba ambao mahakama imesisitiza kwamba sio halali manake haujaratibiwa katika mahakama ilivyo kikatiba. Lakini madaktari hao wameilaumu serikali kwa kuukokota mchakato mzima ulionuia kusajiliwa kwa mkataba huo hali wanayosema kisheria ilihalalisha mkataba wao. You know in 2010 South African doctors were struck for 6 months, right? Yes. Yeah. Israel was in 5 months, right? Yeah. Kuna ingine German did enter 8 months, right? That is why the healthcare systems in those countries are good. Sasa macho anaangazia tarehe 26 mwezi huu makata haya atakapokamilika. Je, vuta ni kuvute hii itachukua mkondo upi? Hapa ya kwamba nitailinda kazi yangu. Nitailinda kazi yangu. Sisili wa kesho kitin leo. Tazamaji badai tutangazia pia mgomo wa wahadhiri amba wa metishia kuanza mgomo wao. Lakini kuanza tueleke nchini Tanzania ambako mbunge wa chama cha upinzani cha demokrasia na maendeleo ya ni chadema. Hame hukumiwa kifungo cha miezi sita gerezani kwa kuzua vrugu. Mbunge pita lijua likali alipokea mbunge. Hukumu hiyo hapo jana kama na voripoti mwana habari Hassan, Rajab Hassan kutoka jijini Dar es Salaam nchini Tanzania. Peter Lee Juakali ni mbunge wa jimbo la Kilombero mkoa wa Morogoro kupitia Chadema. Na mahakama mempata na hatia ya kufanya vurugu na kuwashambulia maafisa wa usalama wakati wa vikao vya uchaguzi wa mwenye kitu alimashauri ya jimbo hilo mwaka jana. Hata hivyo cha makikuu cha upinzani cha Dema, kina itaja adhabu ya kifungo cha mezi sita jela ni kifungo cha kisiasa. Alitolewa na kundi kubwa la askari, asipige kura ya kuchagua mwenye kitu wa halmashauri ambayo yeye ni mbunge. Sasa katika mtafaruku ule, ndiyo anadaiwa alipiga askari. Na leo, jana, amefungwa. 
ni ni ni, ni adhabu ya kisiasa Mheshimiwa alijua likali ni mfungwa wa kisiasa Chadema imeahidi kuwa haitoka kimya itaiandama serikali na kukata rufaa ili kumweka huru kada wao mbunge wetu kiongozi wetu hatafungwa kwa kesi za kipuuzi kama hizi kulingana na katiba ya jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania ni kwamba kifungo cha miezi sita alichohukumiwa mbunge lijuali kali hakitobatilisha cheo chake cha ubunge Rajab Hassan KT News Dar es Salaam Tanzania kirejea humu nchini wahadhiri na wafanyikazi katika vyuo vikuu vya umma kote nchini sasa wananuia kususia kazi katika muda wa siku saba zijazo ili kushinikiza uainishaji wa mishahara na marupurupu yao ila hiyo wameitoa mapema hii leo wakitaka serikali kuafikiana na makubaliano ambayo waliekana nao Shadrack Miti na taarifa hiyo so, wanachama wa miungano mikumi wili ya wahadhiri na ufanyikazi wa vyo vikuu vya umma pamoja na mabeo ya vyo vyo kote nchini kwa pamoja umetoa ilani ya mgomo iwapo kwa muda usiku saba zijazo uongozi wa vyo vikuu vya umma hautakumiandaa kikao cha kujadili mapendekezo ya uendeshaji wa mishahara yao All employees of public universities who are members of Uwasu and Kusu will withdraw their labor from Tuesday 19th Thursday 19th 2017 until the 2013 2017 CBA is negotiated and signed Viongozi wa miungano ya Uwasu na Kusu ilio na wanachama takriban 2020 katika vyo 33 vya umma kote nchini pamoja na mabeo yake wanasema ni lazima mapendekezo ya uainishaji wa malipo yao yaliyo kwenye majadiliano na makubaliano ya pamoja yani CBA yaangaziwe kikamilifu na kwa uwazi mkata ambao tunasema Unaisha tarehe Jun 30 mwaka huu unaisha tukiwa hatuja jadiliana na tukatengeneza mkataba wetu mwingine mpya. Ndio sababu leo tumesema tumechoka. Makatibu wa kuu Dr. Constantine Wasongo wa Uwasu na Dr. Charles Mwaya wa Kusu kwenye taarifa ya pamoja kwa wanahabari walielezea ghadhabu zao kwamba kwa zaidi ya miaka sita wafanyikazi wa vyo vikuu hawajawahi kupewa nyongeza ya mishahara hatuwezi tukaendelea kuwa tunaona wenzetu wengine katika idara za umma wanapewa na sisi tunaendelea kumeza mate the government has failed to factor the 2013 2017 CBA in its budget for the last six financial years Mfanyikazi wa ngazi ya chini zaidi katika vyo vikuu vya umma anapokea mshahara wa shilingi 1015 ili hali ile wajuu zaidi ambaye ni mhathiri anapokea shilingi laki moja na 1020 Wanachama wetu simameni kidete jitarisheni firimbi itakapolea tokeni simameni itisheni haki zenu Mwaka huu lazima wapate Wafanyikazi hao wanadai kuwepo kwa kiwango fulani cha madharau kwani licha ya kuyatoa mapendekezo yao kwa baraza kuu la usimamizi wa vyo vikuu vya umma miaka sita iliyopita hapaja kuwekwa juhudi zozote za kuyashughulikia matako yao na iwapo hatua za dharura zitachukuliwa ni wazi kwamba masomo ya wanafunzi wazeopungua laki sita katika vyo vikuu vya umma yamo mashakani Shadrack Miti Kitien Leo Tazamaji labda kufahamisha tu baada ya madaktari sasa vyama kama vile Wasu, Kusu na hata Kudheha ambao hapo jana pia walitoa ilani yao kwamba wataanza mgomo. Je, taifa la Kenya linageukia kuwa taifa la migomo? Huo ndio mjadala ambao tulionao katika sehemu ya pili kwenye KT News wakati tukapomaliza kuarifu na taarifa kuu na kama nilivyokuelezea mgeni wangu tayari amewasili hapa studio. Hata hivyo tukiendelea na taarifa zaidi gavana wa kaunti ya Mombasa Ali Hassan Joho Amedinda kuwapokea walinzi ambao wametumwa waliotumwa kuchunga nyumba yake huko Mombasa. Hatua hii inafuatia mzozo baina yake na mratibu wa usalama ukanda wa pwani Nelson Marwa pale serikali kuu ilipoamua kumpokonya walinzi wake wiki iliyopita. Hata hivyo gavana Joho ameiambia KTN kwa njia ya simu kwamba hana habari kuhusu maafisa hao kwani haishi katika jengo hilo ambako walifika kulifanyia ama kuanza kazi yao ya ulinzi. Kwa heshima jubilee wekeni walinzi wenu kwenu si wataki kamwe
Katika barabara ya Jamhuri eneo la Nyali jumba hili la Fahari linapatikana. Jumba ambalo linadaiwa kuwa la gavana wa Mombasa Hassan Ali Joho. Kwa takriban siku tatu maafisa hao salama wa kitengo cha utawala wamekuwa kikita kambi eneo hili wakidai kuagizwa na wakuu wao kulinda nyumba ya gavana huyo. Lakini pindi walipofika eneo hili wenyeji wa jumba hili wakakataa kuwafungulia lango. Nyuma yangu ni nyumba ya kifahari ambapo gavana wa Mombasa Ali Hassan Joho amekuwa kishi kwa zaidi ya miaka sita. Lakini sasa amegura akitaja sababu za kiusalama. Mmiliki wa sasa wa nyumba hii anasema kuwa kuwepo kwa maafisa hao nje ya nyumba yake kumemtia wasiwasi mkubwa licha ya kuwa aliwaelezea kuhusiana na kugura kwa gavana. Jambo ambalo mimi nilishangaa sana kwa sababu mimi sihusiki na mambo haya na aliyokuwa labda akiishi hapa hayuko tena. Ni mimi ndio Naishi hapa kwenye nyumba hii. Gavana Joho anazidi kushikilia kuwa hauhitaji ulinzi wa serikali akishikilia kuwa amepoteza imani na walinzi hao kutokana na yaliyojiri. Msemaji wa serikali Eric Raithe ameshikilia kuwa msimamo wa Joho hautatatiza mipango ya usalama ya serikali kuu. The national government will also not engage with issues of the security of one individual. We have 40 million Kenyans to look after their lives and their property and their fundamental freedoms. Vuta ni kuvute baina ya gavana Joho na mratibu usalama ukanda wa pwani Nelson Marwa uliibuka upya hapo jana pale Marwa alipomshutumu Joho kwa matumizi mabaya ya vyombo vya usalama. You can't, can't afford my brother to have two uniformed laws in the same country. You will be running a banana country huku haya ya kijiri kundi moja la vijana mjini Mombasa limejitokeza kukamea uhasama unaoendelea mjini Mombasa We need leaders who can help bring youth together and not divide them Umesema vijana Mombasa ukimpenda Alessan Joe ukimshangilia ni wendazimu ni machizi na madrug addict je ukienda Kisumu Francis Ontomwa KTN Leo Mombasa kwingine kwa mtazamaji mamia ya watu mipakani mwa kaunti za Turkana, Pokot ya Magharibi na Baringo wamekimbilia usalama wao baada ya hali ya usalama kudorora kutokana na mashambulizi ya wezi wa mifugo kina mama ndio wametajwa kuathirika pakubwa huku kilazimika kutoroka na mifugo pamoja na mali zao nyingine mwanahabari Mark na Maswa na taarifa zaidi Bio za kuokoa maisha Wakazi mipakani kaunti za Turkana, West Pokot na Baringo wakitafuta hifadhi maeneo kama na Kukulas, Lokwi na Lokori, Turkana Mashariki. Lakini sasa wanakumbana na ukosefu wa maji na lisha la mifugo na chakula chao walikopata hifadhi. Nyuma yao wezi wa mifugo wakiongeza mashambulizi. Ndamia kama imia zaa inabaki hapo Mbuzi watoto wa mbuzi inabaki hapo Haya yanafanyika ikibainika maafikiano ya amani Yamekiukwa na wanauzu wa vurugu But now the situation has out now The corridor has collapsed And this has detrimental effect to the people of Lomelo eh, Kaamuge eh, Lomelo so much because now they are cut off from accessing the Subuta river which is a source of, source of water Hofu pia imegubika eneo la laikipe kwenye shamba la mugi Wakazi wa kidai mmoja wao aliuawa na maafisa walinda wanyama na mwili wake kufichwa. Wameingia hapa ndani kutafuta tu nyasi pekee. Walikuja tu kwa fimbo, hawana silaha yoyote ile. Kufika hapa KWS akawapata hapa ndani. Serikali kakuta sisi kwa ndani ni tupia sisi arsasi kama swara. There's this kind of feeling that we are hiding a body somewhere that we did something with intent. But that's not the case. We are sincerely trying to establish the truth of the matter. Ria nini meli ya ndote yangu kuona saa hii. Polisi wamesema baadhi ya maafisa walioshika doria ya shambani humo wakati wa tukio wamekamatwa kusaidia uchunguzi. Mark na Maswa, KTN Leo. Serikali imetangaza tahadhari ya uhaba wa chakula huku kiangazi kikiwadia kote nchini. Waziri wa Ugatuzi Mwangi Kiunjuri ambaye alikuwa ameandamana na mwenzake katika Wizara ya Maji Eugene Omalwa wamedokeza kwamba ipo hatari ya wakenya wapatao milioni mbili kuathirika kwa sababu hifadhi katika magala ya chakula inaweza tu kuwasukuma wakenya hadi mwezi wa Juni mwaka huu. 
Waziri Ugatuzi Mwangi Kiunjuri akiandamana na Waziri wa Maji Eugene Omalwa wote wamekiri kwamba hali ya ukame nchini Kenya ni tatizo sugu ambalo huenda suluhu lisipatikane moja kwa moja ila njia zipo za kudhibiti hali. Drought conditions in Kenya are worse now at the end of the short rain season than they were before the season began. Kenya remains a water scarce country and uh, with the drought situation that we are facing now the challenge of climate change is becoming a reality there are those who thought it was a hoax huenda zaidi ya watu milioni mbili wakaathirika mifugo anatarajiwa kuumia sana wakati serikali inapotangaza kuwa ina chakula cha hadi mwezi juni kwa shuli kia wa Kenya but definitely the number will rise to up to 2 million and uh, roughly 2 million so the numbers are going up Hali hii imezidisha na ukosefu wa mvua iliyofaa kunyesha mwezi Disemba ambapo wataalamu wamesema kuwa iwapo mambo hayatageuka huenda tukarejelea ukame uliokumba taifa mwaka 2011. Some of our rivers are drying up, water ponds and uh, some small dams and our population is growing but our water resources are decreasing. Tayari imeripotiwa kuwa mabao ya maji yamekauka maeneo mengi. Njano kusefu wa chakula kwa mifugo sasa ni mtindo. Nairobi na viunga vyake imeathirika pakubwa. Zaidi ya wakenya milioni mbili wako katika hatari ya kuathirika na jangwa hili ambao kwa sasa linakumba taifa la Kenya. Wakati huo huo kitengo cha ukulima hapa nchini wanasema kuwa chakula wanacho katika gala kinaweza kusitiriwa Kenya hadi mwezi Juni mwaka 2017. Nicholas Wambua KTN Leo Nairobi. karibu tena mtazamaji kwenye meza ya KTN leo michezo tunaarifiwa kuwa kikosi cha Telkom Orange ambao ndio mabingwa watetezi wa michuano ya mpira wa magongo klabu bingwa barani Afrika wameahidi mashabiki wao kuwa wataliibua taji hilo kwa mara ya tano mtawalia na kama Moses Wahisi anavyoripoti tema anayevoripoti mabingwa hao watetezi hawajapoteza mechi hata moja katika ubingwa ambao unaoendelea na hivi leo walilaza timu ya sliders mabao manne bila jibu. Upinzani mkali unazidi kudhihirika katika michuano ya kuwania taji la klabu bingwa Afrika na kwenye siku ya sita mechi ya kwanza ikawa ni kati ya mabingwa watetezi Talcom Orange dhidi ya sliders masimu wa wa Kenya. Huku wakitafuta taji lao la tano mtawalia, Talcom Orange walianza mechi hiyo kwa kasi na baada ya dakika nane ikawa ni mchezaji wao Jacqueline Wangeshi na bao lao la kwanza. Hiyo ikawa ndiyo bao la kipekee katika nusu ya kwanza lakini baada ya mapumziko kina dada wa Jose Openda wakamakinika zaidi. Morin Okumu akatoa bao la pili dakika nne pekee baada ya mapumziko. Muda mfupi baadaye Jacqueline Wangeshi akaongeza bao lake la pili likiwa ni la tatu la mabingu wa tetezi huku mechi ya sliders ikizidi kufifia. Katika dakika 64 ikawa ni Audrey Maido na bao la nne na la ushindi kwa Telkom Orange. Matokeo ambayo yanazidi kuwapa motisho na Telkom Orange ambao wanajaribu kushinda taji lao la tisa. This cup is ours especially on home turf we cannot afford to take anything less other than the cup and we are also ready to tackle them. We knew very well that everybody was coming to wrestle the championship from us and we also ready to make sure that we defend it effectively. Katika mechi tofauti ya kinadada, Ghana Police walilaza Tanzania mabao kumi bila jibu huku Sharkia ikishinda mechi yao sita moja dhidi ya Weatherhead. Ubabe wa timu ambazo zinashiriki katika michuano hii itazidi kujulikana pale timu hizi zitakaposhiriki katika michuano ya nusu finali na hapo ndipo ambapo utapata kutambua mbivu na mbichi. Moses Wahisi, Ketian Michezo. Bila shaka kila laheri kwa timu hiyo ya Kenya. Kwingineko tuzo ya wana michezo bora nchini ya maarufu Soya zimepigwa jeki kwa mara nyingine tena baada kupokea ufadhili wa shilingi milioni tatu kutoka kwa hazina ya loto. Tuzo hizo ambazo hufanyika kila mwaka kuwatambua wana michezo ambao wamefanya vema humu nchini katika fani mbalimbali zitaandaliwa wiki ijayo ikiwa ni tarehe tisa katika ukumbi wa KICC. This is our sixth year in supporting this event and we intend to 
continue doing that because we are happy with it, we are happy with how it's being uh, managed. We are committed uh, to the development of sports in Kenya. Uh, as a foundation, we strongly believe that sports greatly changes livelihoods and lifts communities socially and economically. I promise you that we are going to give you the best of that. It has been a good year, 2016, for Kenya. Uh, we've had the best ever Olympics performance. You remember what happened in Rio. Let's forget about the side shows and everything. It was a good performance. I was there. I saw the best performance for our team. So it's going to be tough. It was also a year where we saw starlets also qualifying for the first uh, Akwon. Even though they didn't do well, but it was their first. It was a uh, first for Kenyan team, especially the women team. Thank you for extending a hand of a friendship to see to it that uh, sports in this country uh, start to uh, continue to grow uh, and to the prestige that you want to see as a country. Uh, I'm asking you that um, the only way to be able to see the sustainability of sports in this country is for you to be able to give in that harm that you have been supporting us too, so that we can be able to move together as a country. Barabara mtazamaji basi kufikia hapa sina la ziada asante sana kwa kutazama taarifa za KTN leo jioni hii ya siku ya Alhamisi. Kupitia KTN News katika sehemu yetu ya pili mtazamaji tunajadili swala la migomo humu nchini wakati ambapo kuna mgomo unaoendelea wa madaktari na kuna mgomo wa hadhiri ambao tayari wametoa ilani ya kufanya mgomo wao baada ya siku saba.